Everywhere in the world, superstars are joining forces to create super teams in order to win. LeBron sort of started it in Miami with Wade and Bosch. Then Draymond took the term super team to the next level when he called Kevin Durant from a parking lot. Brooklyn now has their own big three, and in Laker Nation, LeBron recruited AD, and word has it on the streets that he's now looking for a third star. Even if we venture out of the NBA and into the MMA, for example, Kamaru, Israel, and Francis are now the three kings in the UFC. Batman created the Justice League, and Nick Fury started the Avengers. Superstars, super teams, superheroes, superman, super, super, super. Man, seems the only way to win these days is to be super. Well, when it comes to Dub Nation, while I certainly don't think the 2022 Golden State Warriors need another superstar to win the championship and restore the dynasty, adding one more tier one player would seal the deal. In order to get another superstar, the Warriors would certainly have to trade off Andrew Wiggins for salary purposes, and most certainly both of those 2021 first round draft picks would have to go. And in most scenarios, even James Wiseman would have to go as a sweetener. It'd be a huge trade for the Warriors, and one that would definitely cause shockwaves in the NBA for years. First off, let me rule out a few star players that shouldn't get traded to the Warriors. Starting with the guards, Victor Oladipo, Bradley Beal, and Russell Westbrook are three great players that are good, but the cost to get them would outweigh the returns for the Warriors. Each one of them stands about six foot three and arguably plays slightly better offense than Andrew Wiggins. But Wiggins is taller and lengthier, so he also provides a defensive support that these three don't really provide. If you throw in the two picks, then it just becomes silly that the Warriors would even consider this trade. Next off comes Kristaps Porzingis and Kevin Love. I used to think Porzingis was a star, and perhaps a borderline superstar, but he just came off a seven-game series against the Los Angeles Clippers, where he averaged 13.1 points and 5.3 rebounds while standing seven foot three inches. Oh, and listen to this. He shot the three ball in the series at 29.6%. Some fine passing, outside it goes, open three, Porzingis. Just for some context on how bad Porzingis played in this series, six foot three Steph Curry in his last playoff run in 2019 averaged six rebounds, which is more than what seven foot three Porzingis just averaged in his 2021 series against the Clippers. Although I do think Porzingis still has the potential to become a superstar in this league, his mindset and his proneness to injuries are two big caution lights that I'm really wary of, and because of those factors, I wouldn't pull the trigger on this trade. Kevin Love's also on the market, but in the last three years, he's only played about 100 games. In addition, he's turning the ball over like this. This play I was talking about, just good hustle. What is Kevin Love doing? I don't he's just batting it. At... at this point in his career, I'd rather take Andrew Wiggins over the 2016 champion. Okay, now that we've gone over the stars and superstars that I wouldn't trade for, let's take a look at acquisitions that the Warriors should heavily consider if the opportunity presented itself. I'll start off with the trades that are less probable. Number one on this list is the two-time MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. This trade was a lot more likely about two weeks ago after the Brooklyn Nets minus James Harden beat them by 50 points. If Kyrie and Harden were healthy in the series, I think Giannis would have understood how hopeless it was to stay in Milwaukee because there is no way under the high heavens that the Bucks would ever get past the Nets. Well, a James Harden hamstring injury and a Kyrie Irving ankle injury not only lost the Nets the series, but also allowed Milwaukee to keep Giannis on their roster. If a Warriors trade did go through, it would cost Wiggins, Wiseman, and both the 2021 first round picks, but would be a trade that put the Warriors over the top. Giannis working alongside Curry, Clay, and Draymond would dominate the paint and the perimeter, and the four of them would win two rings minimum. With all the double team attention that Steph and Clay Thompson would command, the Greek freak would have more than enough room in the paint to truly show off his Superman cape. Connaughton, catch and shoot three, halfway down and out, and ten of Kumpo, oh! Next off on the list, as number two and number three, is Kawhi Leonard, or Paul George. Just like the Gianna situation, about two weeks ago, a trade seemed a lot more likely. The Clippers were down 0-2 against both the Mavericks and the Jazz. It seemed for certain that either Leonard or George would be leaving in the offseason. But give them credit, the two superstars in LA 
pulled off two awesome comebacks. And because of that, the Clippers reached the conference finals for the first time in franchise history. And with that, the chances of either Kawhi or George leaving LA have gotten very slim. Still though, a trade for either of them would have the Clippers asking for Wiggins, Wiseman, and both the 2021 first round picks. Unlike the Giannis trade, even if the Clippers wanted Wiseman, I wouldn't include him. And if the Clippers wanted the trade, the Warriors should only add in Wiggins, the two picks, and perhaps some other role players like Pascal or Bazemore. If the trade did go through though, and the Warriors got Kawhi for Wiggins plus Pascal plus the two first round picks, it would put the Warriors way over the top. Kawhi would be next to proven champions who have a proven system, and the two-time finals MVP would be able to load manage in the fourth quarter as the Warriors are blowing teams out. No rush here for LA, Leonard, seven to shoot. Kawhi makes his move. Oh! Wow! Paul George, although not as lethal as Kawhi, would be just as deadly if he donned a Warriors jersey. And he would still cause an imbalance in the NBA if he relocated to the Bay Area. Number four on this list is Carl Anthony Towns. The Minnesota Timberwolves superstar is another player that's been in the middle of a lot of trade rumors. If the Timberwolves did go along with this trade, the Warriors would have to give up Wiggins, Wiseman, and both the 2021 picks. Still though, Carl Anthony Towns, along with Draymond, Steph, and Clay, would make one of the most formidable lineups in the NBA. This team would win a minimum of two rings, and Carl Anthony Towns is still young enough to develop further within a championship organization. And the Sixers, their largest lead at eight, as Towns Ooh. goes in and slams Ooh. over Embiid. Ooh. The Timberwolves, on the other hand, could develop a really good young team through adding Wiggins and Wiseman, plus the two draft picks from 2021. Next off is number five on the list, and I must say, this one caught me by surprise. It wasn't until recently that trade rumors surrounding this superstar flooded the news media, and that is, Zion Williamson's family isn't happy about Zion's situation in New Orleans. The Zion trade is a bit more complicated, because unlike the other superstars, Zion is still in his rookie contract. James Wiseman and the two picks would definitely have to go, but I'm not too sure the Pelicans can absorb Andrew Wiggins' contract, especially if they want to re-sign Lonzo to a bigger contract. Let's just say for the sake of simplicity that Wiggins was traded, along with Wiseman and the two picks for Zion Williamson. How would that affect the Warriors? And pay the house. Good call. Order second year man. Now Zion again. The truth is, Zion Williamson is a true superstar in the making. He's only 20 years old, but he just averaged 27 points and 7.2 rebounds while shooting 61% from the floor. Did you know that the only other two players in NBA history to average 27 points per game before turning 21 are LeBron James and Luka Doncic? That is some solid company to be in. If he was on the Golden State Warriors, not only would the Warriors dominate the league, but they'd be the most exciting team in the league to watch. A combination of Curry, Clay, Draymond, and Williamson would win at least two rings over the next four years. And the crazy thing is that in four years, Williamson would still only be 24 years old, which is two or three years before his prime. A Zion trade to the Warriors would keep Golden State at the top of the NBA pyramid for perhaps the next decade. Man, these are some exciting super teams, and if the Warriors do want to make one of these trades, the one thing I don't want to hear from Warriors fans is, the process is complete. That phrase, guys, is a jinx. Did y'all just see what happened with the Philadelphia 76ers and the collapse of their process? It was pretty horrifying, guys, and in case you missed it, I got it right here for you. This is the completely broken process that occurred in Philadelphia, and it's pretty horrifying as a sports fan. Click it, guys, watch it, and I'll see you on the other side.